Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making an ice dyed spiral sweatshirt. My sweatshirt was washed and dried, then I soaked it in a soda ash solution, wrung it out in my panda spin dryer, and so it's just barely damp. Since this is a sweatshirt and it's so thick, I'm not going to turn it inside out, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm beginning my spiral with a fork, and once my sweatshirt is spiraled up, I'm going to hold it in place with some rubber bands. I purchased this variety pack of rubber bands from Target and this pack has quite a few really long rubber bands in there so I'm going to open up a package of these and use some of the really long ones so that it will hold my sweatshirt in place but it won't hold it so tight that it wants to fold in on itself. Now I'm going to set this sweatshirt aside for several days and I'm going to let it completely dry out. I'm going to divide my sweatshirt into four equal sections using a washable marker. Then right on the line I'm going to use MX2G which is a blue color from Custom Colors. Then on two of the sections, I'm going to use Cerulean Blue from Custom Colors. In the other two sections, I'm using Vivid Turquoise from Custom Colors. The red banding that you see around this sweatshirt is something that I heard another tie-dyer suggest on Facebook. What it is, is it is silicone strips that you can purchase if you are a baker and you maybe want to make an unusually shaped cake. They sell these strips that you can form into whatever shape that you want, and they are great to use for this. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Then I added some additional soda ash to the top and loaded on some ice.
After I finished loading the ice onto my sweatshirt, I put the lid onto my tub and put it outside for a few hours to let the ice melt. So this is what it looked like after the ice melted from the front side. And then this is what the second side of the sweatshirt looked like after I flipped it. As you can see, the color was barely starting to come through on the second side, but because this is such a thick sweatshirt, I wanted to go ahead and add a second coating of dye to the back side. So I went ahead with the same exact color pattern on the back side of the sweatshirt. Then, just like the front side, I added some more soda ash and another layer of ice. I put the lid back on the tub and I continue to let it process. After all of the ice was melted on the back side, I continued to let it process for at least 24 to 36 hours after that. Alright, so here is what our ice dyed spiral sweatshirt ended up looking like. Listen, if you guys are enjoying watching my videos, I sure would appreciate you hitting the big red subscribe button and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.